Welcome to Digital Toolbox. We're in the second tutorial of uh, this case study for the Cal Poly architecture building. And I've cleaned up my layers a little bit. So after I imported that AutoCAD DWG, I still have most of the information here. I deleted some of the layers that I didn't want, such as the title block, some of the text information that was in these rooms. And then I renamed all the layers to kind of suit uh, suit my fancy. So here are all the layers. Most of them are still turned on. I still have the grid, which I'll turn off. The square footage I kept just for kicks, and I'll turn that off. Some of the things like uh, capacities, I can turn that off. And the hatches, I don't need those either, so I can turn that off too. So now, here I just have my uh, the raw lines I need to create this uh, this building. So here's just floor one. I haven't imported any other floors yet. All the things that are in floor one, I can hold down shift and select all of these these uh, layers, and then I can click and drag them to the floor one layer. This will keep them all in their own same layer, but now their layers are under the floor one title. So I can scroll back this floor one menu, and now floor one is all uh, in one group, one f file folder pretty much. And then we can press the that plus button and then they all drop out too. So uh, I can turn them all on or lock them individually by this floor one layer. Or if I create a new layer, which will be floor two, and then I double click to select the floor two layer, I can turn off the floor one layer, I can lock it, I can do whatever I want with it. So that's floor one. Floor two is already selected. I just created that layer. I'll back out a little bit and I'll import that layer. So file import. Go down to floor two. Okay. And here it is. Just like the other one, completely imported. I'm going to uh, separate it a little bit. So now I can see what's going on over here. And this is just like the uh, first import we did for floor one, except this is floor two. It has all of these same all of these same layers that we had for the last one. So we'll have to go back and redo that. Had I not changed the, the names for floor one, it would have imported all of these into the same uh, layer too. So if I had kept uh, a wall or this TTLB title block or the site or all of these the same it would have imported these uh, all of those uh, layers into the same layer for the floor one so if you have a, a different methodology or there's uh, AIA s drafting standards for uh, CAD you know if you want to if you want to go that way um, you certainly can and that would just import directly from AutoCAD. For the sake of this tutorial we're going to put them into different floors and do them one at a time. So I'll go back and uh, do, do the same thing for the, the floor 2 layer and so I'll select all these I'll put them in the floor 2 uh, f folder that I just created so now I have floor 1 and floor 2 and then I can scroll down each of them. So I'll, I'll go back and change the name for these guys in floor two, and I'll import floor three and floor four as well. So that's it for importing multiple DWG files and uh, renaming your layers and having a good organized plan for how you're going to go about this modeling process.